Why do vegans hate everybody? Consider this a polite dodge of the question. <laughs> Food side! We're gonna look up some ingredients here, see uh, what's plant-based, what's not. We're gonna start with L-cysteine. Is L-cysteine vegan friendly? According to NoahTreatment.com, duck feathers and other animal products are also used in non-vegan L-cysteine products. These non-vegan friendly sources may be used in foods as well as dietary supplements. L-cysteine is a common food additive especially useful as a stabilizer for breads, tortillas and other similar foodstuffs. Foodstuffs, alright. So we definitely know that L-cysteine is not vegan in all cases. Now there is plant-based L-cysteine. Is glycerin vegan friendly? I've got this for you on is glycerin vegan friendly. So it can be synthetically produced or can be derived from an animal. So it's one of those can be either or. You typically got to contact the company if they don't list it. A lot of companies now are listing them as, you know, animal or not necessarily animal source, sorry plant source, if they use plant source, the glycerin or whatever, a lot of companies label that in the ingredients. It'll say specifically that it is from plant sources. Is magnesium steroid made from animal products? According to Draxy.com, magnesium stearate is a magnesium salt of stearic acid and essentially it's a compound containing two stearic acids and magnesium stearic acid is a saturated fatty acid found in many foods including animal and vegetable fats and oils okay so more or less it just comes from from the fats but it could be animal it could be vegetable it could be either so again one of those things check with the company if you're not sure if they don't specifically label it there what is stearic acid? Stearic acid is a noun meaning a solid saturated fatty acid obtained from animal or vegetable fats. Okay, so again, <clears throat> same same dilemma, either or, check with the source. Alright, but again, another one that now you're aware of. What is lanolin? I found the meaning of the noun lanolin. So lanolin is a fatty substance naturally found on sheep's wool. It is extracted as a yellowish, viscous mixture of esters and is used as a base for ointments. Um, one thing that that you'll also find lanolin in, or an animal product I should say in, is vitamin D3. They, they actually use lanolin for that, or some, something out of the sheep's wool for that. I don't know if it's lanolin specifically. Is vitamin D3 vegan friendly? I've got this for you on is vitamin D3 vegan friendly. Okay, so vitamin D supplements. Now as we're reading here it says vitamin D3 is not suitable for vegans as it is typically made from sheep's wool or other animal byproducts. The tricky thing with this thing here with D3 is a lot of foods, a lot of you know processed foods especially and stuff, are gonna be fortified with D3. So like juices, for example, if you're not getting 100% juice and they're enhancing it with the, the D3, they're probably using the animal-based D3 in that uh, fortified juice or milk or whatever it is that you're, you're drinking. Could possibly be non-vegan friendly, so definitely check that. There's casein in my cheese. Is it vegan? According to vegan.com, casein in a milk protein that was once widely used in soy cheeses advances in food science have resulted in superior vegan alternatives. Casein is the protein that gives melted cheese its oozy stretchiness. It's present in all milk and it can appear in processed foods, protein, powders, paints, and adhesives. Okay, so more or less what this is saying is it used to be found in soy cheeses a lot and it still is. In fact, there's a, still a brand out there that's side by side with other vegan cheeses but it actually has casein in it but they're able to layer it la excuse me label it as dairy free um so you just watch for that it may say dairy free on it or lactose free or whatever check the ingredients for casein make sure it's not in there or sodium casein yeah. what is ethanol made out of i've got this for you on what is ethanol made out of 
So ethanol is made from sugar, beets, sugar cane, corn, wheat, and barley. But let's ask her this question. Is ethanol made from whey? According to energy.gov, ethanol is a domestically produced alternative fuel most commonly made from corn that can also be made from cellulosic feedstocks such as crop residues and wood though this is not as common U.S. ethanol plants are concentrated in the Midwest because of their proximity to corn production. If you don't mind... Is whey from milk used for ethanol? According to SupremeVinegar.com, New Zealand SDYC vinegar, which is from ethanol from milk whey, the largest use for whey to make vinegar is not whey vinegar directly, but rather whey alcohol, which is distilled and used to make white distilled vinegar. Okay, so so it can definitely be derived from milk whey, and I got to give the happy vegan a shout out for pointing this one out. She put it in the comments on the last video and brought this to my attention. And I checked it out. Now there's another ingredient, I forget the name, but it's actually, it's a beaver gland that they use for different flavorings, so let's find it. Are beaver glands used as ingredients? According to wikipedia.org, castoreum is the yellowish secretion of the castor sac beavers use castoreum in combination with urine to scent mark territory both beaver sexes have a pair of castor sacs and a pair of anal glands located in two cavities under the skin between the pelvis and the base of the tail all right guys so this is what people are eating and not even knowing it they're eating beaver anal glands and not even knowing it <laughs> so again it's one of those ingredients i found out a long time ago it might have been dehudi that pointed this one out to me he pointed a lot of these out back in the day like years and years ago that i had no idea weren't vegan so i gotta thank him for that what is icing glass icing glass is a no meaning a kind of gelatin obtained from fish especially sturgeon and used in making jellies glue etc and for clarifying mail is icing glass vegan? I've got this for you on is icing glass vegan. Okay, so icing glass the most common finning used to clear cast ale. Uh, swim bladders of fish, usually sturgeon. Okay, so this is something that you're going to find in beer and wine. I know in wine they also use, uh, I believe they use casein and egg whites as well to filter stuff also. Um, and possibly even in some beers as well. So again, another one of those things, if you're going to be drinking beer or wine for that matter, just make sure that you know that they're not using these in them. I know Guinness used to use the icing glass, um, but I don't believe they do anymore. Is Belgium beer vegan? I've got this for you on is Belgium beer vegan. Alright, so according to this, now... Belgian has always been good because they, they brew it traditionally. They don't really add weird stuff like that. So if you are a beer drinker, typically anything from Belgium is going to be okay. German as well, but also just brands in the U.S. or wherever you are, you can check with the breweries and see if they're using, you know, vegan ingredients. I, if I'm going to have a beer, I would have like Lagunitas. Most, I think they only have like a couple that aren't vegan friendly. Like one year they made a barley wine that wasn't vegan friendly, but the new barley wine that they make now is vegan friendly, so you just gotta watch out for that one year. Um, but that's a good one. If you're on the West Coast and you like beer, check out Lagunitas. Most of them are vegan friendly. Uh, so I don't know guys, what do, what do you think about this whole format here? Just kind of uh, doing research uh, on camera more or less. Would you rather me do the research here you know, on the spot with you guys watching or me do the research first and then come back with the video. The reason why we're doing it this way in this video, more or less because it's vlogging and we're putting out a video every day or just about every day. So I don't, I'm not really going to have the time to sit down and really do the editing and do all the research required to do a really good video about this topic. Um, so I figured I would just throw something together for now and maybe doing something a little fancier later on down the road, right? But put your thoughts and comments on that down below. Or if there's anything else, if you have other questions that you want me to ask or you want me to research, maybe we can do a live stream or something like that where we're just doing all kinds of research or whatever. Uh, put that in the comments down below, guys. What is a vegan? 
Vegan can be a noun meaning. A person who does not eat or use animal products. What is an animal product? According to wikipedia.org, an animal product is any material derived from the body of an animal. How many people are vegan in the United States? According to opinionsoftheworld.com, according to the Vegetarian Resource Group, VRG, 3% of the U.S. population, about 7.5 million people, are vegetarian and 1%, 2.5 million people, are vegan. Can you tell me why I should go vegan? According to foodismworld.com, either vegans nor vegetarians vegans. eat meat. <laughs> oh, yeah. How many pounds of cheese do people eat every year? That is C for cheese, apparently using the latest data from the U.S. Department of Agriculture that SPI reports since 1970 we've gone from 8 pounds per person per year to 23 pounds of cheese. We are each on average eating 23 pounds a year of cheese. And I'm not eating any, so somebody's eating double. I need to put that cheese down. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for Vlogus 20th. Again, I'm going to have... The, the video specifically about this topic I'll have to do after Vlogus where I can actually put some time and uh, energy into it. But uh, for now, if you want to see more of that though, just put it in the comments down below. Hope everybody had a good Vlogus 21st. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you everybody for all your support. Alright guys, I'm out of here. Take care.